So day one was all about writing the systems. So day two is about solving the systems using methods that we already know. So these were the notes from yesterday. So what we are going to do is we are going to solve because we have to answer the question. How many dimes does he have? How many quarters does he have? Or, yeah, he, because it's Joey. So remember how we set the equation up? So from the equation, we're just going to write the matrix and then use our calculator to solve. So let's go ahead and write the original matrix. So it would be 1, 1, 22. And remember, it's D, Q, and then equals a number. And so the next one needs to be D, Q equals a number. If they're mixed matched, then you are not going to get the correct solution. So then the next one is 0.10 for 10 cents, 25 cents for quarters, and then 355. So let's use our matrix. Hopefully you've cleared out the memory on your calculator. If you haven't, go ahead and do that. So second matrix, over to math. Go to RREF, alpha zoom. Make sure you change it to a two by three and put in the numbers. And then write down your solution matrix. Okay, so whenever we did this with just X and Y, we knew it was X comma Y. Well, it's a little different here because we have D and Q. So you just have to pay attention to your order. So if this is D and this is Q, then this is D, this is Q. It has to go in the same order. Because this represents an equation. It's like 1D plus 0Q equals 13. So really that just means D equals 13. And then 0D plus 1Q equals 9. So what we are going to do is write the answer, but we need to write it in words. So the question was, how many dimes does he have? How many quarters does he have? He has 13 dimes and nine quarters. So usually with word problems, you have to write your answer in words. So that's why I do that instead of just D equals 13, Q equals nine. Okay, so let's do the next one. So this was all about hamburgers and hot dogs, and we are wanting to know the cost of a hot dog and the cost of a hamburger. So this was the order one, order two. So let's write our matrix. Let's put it in. So it came out as decimals, but that's okay, right? Because we're dealing with money. So let's write our output matrix. And y'all check my work too. If I did something wrong, please let me know. So 
So we do have to write our answer in words. So let's reread the question. What is the cost of a hot dog hamburger? So we're going to answer that question with the cost of a hot dog is, the cost of a hamburger is. So we just have to make sure we pay attention to how we wrote these. Hot dog, hamburger. I think we used B for burger in the last video, right? Okay. So that means that this is the hot dog. And this is the hamburger. I'm just going to write burger. It's easier. So go ahead and write that as a sentence. The cost of a hot dog is this. So we're not just going to write 275, we need to write the dollar bill sign. So the important thing to remember is the order. The order that you originally put your equation is the order that your solution is down the column where you have your output matrix. Okay, go ahead and do the next one. Write your matrix, and then use your calculator. And then write your output matrix. This is what I got. 1, 0, 60. 0, 1, 8. So y'all got? So we need to figure out which one's which. So it was B, C, black and white copies, color copies. Color copies are a lot more expensive. They're almost double the price. And so going down the side is going to be B and C. Across the top was order B, C, the output matrix. Down the side is B, C. So it asked how many black and white copies and color copies did they get? They got 60 black and white copies and 8 color copies. So writing was part one, solving is part two. Um, the last thing you do want to do is kind of make sure it makes sense. So if we look at the black and white copies, it said had a total of 68 copies. Well, if you add eight, uh, 60 plus 8, you get 68. So that makes sense. 68 total pieces of paper that they bought of their copies. And then... Six dollars. So what you could do is just make sure that it's eight cents for the 60 black and white copies 
plus the 15 cents for the eight color copies. So what is the total amount supposed to be whenever I push enter? How much did he pay? What does it say? Paid a total of six dollars. So whenever I push enter, it should come out to six, and it does. So that's one way you can double check that your answer makes sense. Okay, so we are done with the notes. We did one problem together yesterday, so we're going to finish this one. So we already have it written down. So now you need to write the matrix, work it out, do the output matrix, and then write your answer in words. So I'm going to write my original matrix, 1, 1, 21, point zero five, point ten, and a dollar sixty-five. Second matrix, over to math, go to RREF, alpha zoom, two by three, one, one. So write your output matrix. So what order does it need to be in? See how this is N and this is D? So it's going to be N and D. So it's talking about, since we wrote our variable down, so that's the important part is writing your variable down. What does it represent so that whenever you answer your question, you know what to write. So there were nine nickels and 12 dimes. I'm going to put there are nine nickels and 12 dimes. So the rest of the class period, you're going to work on these. Once you're done, you can turn it in.